Today, Amazon started to roll out the second feature update for the Kindle Scribe with version 5.6.1.3. After the last update brought us the much anticipated pen options, I'd say this one is a bit subtler, but nonetheless very important for the note-taking platform Amazon is building. As always with the sorts of updates, the new software isn't rolled out for everybody at the same time. So if you didn't get the update yet, you can wait for the scribe to update automatically sometime in the near future, or you can go ahead and manually update the firmware right now. I will leave a comment with the link to the download and instructions on how to do it. Okay, let's start by talking about the first of the four new features. Amazon has added a page overview to the notebook functions, which they are calling bird's eye view. This update brings a scrollable three by three grid overview accessible via the options menu. Not having an overview inside of notebooks was honestly one of the things that annoyed me the most. And I'm happy to say that's now a thing of the past. The bird's eye view makes navigating notebooks much quicker and easier. Previously, you had to swipe through all pages one by one to get through a notebook. Now you can open the bird's eye view and get the scaled down view of nine pages at a time. You can scroll through the pages vertically and even larger notebooks can be skimmed through pretty quickly that way. If you found the page you were looking for, just double tap it to open. The bird's eye view also allows to insert, delete and move pages. Inserting a new page will add it after the current selection. Moving a page gives you the option to select the position with this vertical line. That's a nice and simple way of doing it. Okay, so that's the first new feature which I personally like a lot. Because for me, it enhances usability by an incredible amount. Moving on to the second new feature, Amazon has improved contrast and navigation in PDF files that were sent with Send to Kindle. So that's still needed to make handwritten notes in those files. With four levels of contrast enhancement in the options menu, this update makes a significant difference in readability. With large format PDFs scaled to fit the screen, anti-aliasing can often smooth the text to the point where contrast suffers. But with the contrast level set to four, that's no longer a problem. But that's actually not the PDF enhancement I'm most excited about. Amazon doesn't mention it in the change log, but they also enhance the zoom and move gestures on the page. Both are now much more responsive, especially moving the viewport around is much quicker now and makes PDF handling much better. The third new feature is the two column layout for reading Kindle eBooks in landscape mode. This makes more sense when using regular text sizes because the length of a line was a bit much to read comfortably. In my opinion, the best way to use this feature is to save the layout options as your own theme so you can quickly switch between the regular portrait and the two columns landscape view without navigating to the submenu every time. And the fourth new feature is the Word 365 integration, with which you can send documents directly to the Kindle. Full disclosure, I wasn't able to test this feature yet because it seems to be not available in the web app at the moment and they don't have an active Microsoft 365 subscription. So I will check it out in the future. According to the press release, you have two options to export a document to the Kindle, like a printed document or like a Kindle ebook. With the printed option, it's basically like a PDF file with a fixed layout. With that, you can do handwritten note taking directly on the page. With the Kindle ebook option, you can change the text size and use it like you would use a Kindle ebook. That means you can't directly write on the page, but need to use sticky notes. So however you like to interact with the text you're sending to the Kindle, you can do it either way. Overall, update 5.6.1.3 may be smaller than the last one, but in my opinion, it's equally important. The new notebook overview and PDF enhancements make handling much more convenient to the point where you can now use the scribe not just for rudimentary journaling, but also for note taking at school or work. To be honest, I personally don't need the Microsoft Word integration, but I can definitely see how that can be useful to read a script, for example, and make notes without being tied to the computer display.
What's still missing besides tags and layers inside of notebooks is the lasso tool to move contents on a page. Amazon already teased it in the press release for the last firmware update, so hopefully it will be in the next one. Once that's available, Amazon will have added the most essential features to the software for most people, I suspect. Please consider leaving a thumbs up if you found this video useful and subscribe to not miss future updates I will cover on the channel. Thanks for your time watching and see you on the next one.